Maxi scooters have been the most sought after vehicle on two wheels here in the Philippines for quite some time now. At least that's what the metrics of motorville.com.ph tells us. And it's easy to see why. They're comfortable, easy to ride, pretty fuel efficient, they've got some storage space, and they're relatively good looking. But what if you wanted to be a little bit different from all the NMAXs, PCX, ADV, and Erics out there? All of which, by the way, we have reviews on motodeal.com.ph. What if you wanted to be a little bit more unique? Well, perhaps this will tickle your fancy. It's the Aprilia SR GT200. It's time to go beyond the ride. When one hears the name Aprilia, usually a sport bike comes to mind. Maybe the Tuono or the RSV4, and why not? That's what they've done through the years, and that's what they've really been known for. So why would an Italian sport bike company make a scooter? Well, keep in mind that the Piaggio Group owns Aprilia, and Piaggio also owns perhaps the most recognizable scooter in the entire world. The one that kind of looks like a wasp. The SR GT200 is powered by a 175cc single-cylinder liquid-cooled engine that makes 17.4 horsepower and 16.5 newton meters of torque. Stopping power is provided by disc brakes front and back, and the bike is also equipped with ABS. You do get a pretty significant ground clearance of 175 millimeters, with 120 millimeter suspension travel up front and 100 millimeter of travel at the back, which means you'll be able to keep the bumps at bay. The tires are bigger than most scooters out there, as the bike sits on 14 inches at the front and 13 inches at the rear. It has dual sport Michelins, which work really well for the roads we have in Manila and beyond. Now, because the ground clearance is pretty high and the wheels are pretty big, you would expect the seat height to be pretty high as well. It is 799 millimeters, which isn't too high when you think about it. However, the seat is pretty wide, so somebody who is five foot six, like myself, with a 764 millimeter inseam is, well, that's the way it looks. Kind of tiptoeing. Now, you do get LEDs all around, front and back with DRLs as well. A non-adjustable windscreen, which does the job. You have a nice integrated foot pegs. Into the, it's integrated into the body so that when you're not using them, it's nice and seamless with the design of the bike. The seat is nice and comfortable, nice stitching as well. Um, I mean, the, the fit and finish of the bike is really good. I mean, it does feel like and look like a premium scooter. However, I don't love the carbon fiber look right here in the body parts of the bike. I mean, I would have rather it just be matte black or glossy black or something, but I'm not a big fan of the carbon fiber feel, um, unless it was real carbon fiber, of course. But you do understand why they did it, right? Because Aprilia is a sport uh, bike company. I mean, that's what they want to do. So they want their scooter to also have that same type of DNA. I mean, I get why they did it, but I would have preferred something a little bit more subtle. I love the way it looks from the front. It's aggressive and sporty. It kind of has that, you know, sport bike feel. I mean, it is an Aprilia. But I, do, I can't believe that it's the cousin of a Vespa. They're very different, but equally beautiful, equally Italian. One is Gianni Versace. The other one is Giorgio Armani. To access the gas cap, all you got to do is turn it on and then press the key, and voila, there it is. And because it is a scooter, you do get some decent storage space. You have this little storage space right here with a USB socket to charge your phone and other gadgets. And you also get storage underneath the seat. It's pretty spacious. I mean, I put my bag in there and a water bottle, but you cannot fit a full face helmet. You could fit a half face or a quarter face helmet, but I mean, yeah, I don't have what to show that they can do that, but you can trust me that I've seen people do it. I love the attention to detail that Aprilia put into the design of the bike. Uh, even these little things underneath the headlight, I don't know what they are, but I kind of like the way it looks. It's, you know, very, very Italian, as well as these little vents or air ducts uh, by the fairings of the scooter. You can see right through it, like, hi, hello. 
Hello there. And the grab rail is nice and sturdy for the pillion to hold on to. Um, I, I do love the color. I mean, I typically don't like loud color motorcycles, but scooters, I enjoy them to be a little bit more out there, a little bit loud, because you want to be, you want to have your presence felt on the road for safety purposes. And this, I like it. I like that it kind of stands out uh, a lot compared to other maxi scooters out there. You get a nice big LCD screen, and it tells you all the different information that you need. Um, it's also telling me that I do need gas. Now, speaking of gas, the bike also is equipped with a start-stop system, so when you're idle or when you're uh, in a traffic light, it, the engine turns off, so you're gonna be able to save fuel. Apparently, I didn't do that properly because I went empty. Now, speaking of fuel, you get nine liters of uh, fuel tank capacity, and the kilometers per liter is about 38 kilometers, which is relatively okay uh, for a scooter. The competition usually will see about 40, 40, a little bit higher than that, but that's for the 150 variants of the other scooters out there. This, it's a 175cc, so you'd expect that to be a little bit less fuel efficient, but still pretty good. The wet weight is 144 kilograms, which makes it really easy to maneuver in city traffic. And the turning radius is pretty good. Look at that. Which means you'll be able to filter smoothly and easily. All right, let's do a quick sound test. Well, it is an Aprilia, so maybe it will sound like a Tuono or the other sport bikes, the RSV4. Maybe not. The seat is nice and comfortable and the ergonomics are typical of most maxi scooters. You can stretch your legs a little bit. The seat is a little wide and it kind of reminds me of the seat of a Vespa. It seems like they're wider than those of the Japanese counterparts. It does make me tiptoe a little bit more than I'm used to on a scooter, but still very manageable. I do like the bigger wheels and tires. It makes the Manila roads much more pleasant to ride around in. On other scooters, such as the Vespa, you will feel all the bumps, but this manages the imperfections of the road so much better. And because it's got some semi-off-roadish tires, it would have been fun to take this on some dirt roads up in the mountain areas. Not exactly on a trail or anything extreme, but just on some off the beaten path places. When you think about the competition of the scooter, it's going up against heavyweights such as the NMAX, PCX, Aerox, ADV 150. To a certain extent, it's relative Vespa, price-wise anyway. And I honestly feel a little different riding this. It feels familiar, but not similar to the other premium scooters. It's more unique, and it, it's in a way, a more fun riding experience. But maybe that's because, you know, it has the name Aprilia attached to it. So in my mind, I'm expecting, you know, something a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, a little bit race oriented. Um, so maybe that's, you know, there's a subliminal thing here that they're doing with the scooter. I've got to tell you, I've gotten a lot of looks and stares riding this the past few days. A lot of guys on an NMAX uh, or other scooters out there ask me questions while I'm stopped in the traffic light. It will grab attention. It definitely will. Now that traffic has returned to normal and gas prices have been pretty high, I have strongly been considering getting a scooter for daily use. I still love the classic look of the Vespa, but this is really growing on me. It's really easy to ride and the power delivery is not jarring but very responsive it won't surprise you at all anyone can ride this at least anyone who is not significantly shorter than i am so final thoughts did aprilia do the right thing by making this scooter well the short answer is yes absolutely maxi scooters are here to stay and if you want something a little bit more unique a little bit more special something italian 
then perhaps this scooter could be the one for you. The starting price tag of the 2022 Aprilia SR GT200 is at 219,000 Philippine pesos. The sport variant, which is this one, will go up to 227,000 Philippine pesos. For more information about the scooter and other MCs out there, log on to www.motodeal.com.ph. This has been Gene Rafino. Hope you guys enjoyed. And be on the ride.